Hello there, welcome to another episode of Learning How to Bartend or Starting to Bartend uh, with Lost and Found. My name is Tyler Coy and in today's episode I'm going to be demonstrating the differences between shaking and stirring a cocktail. So we will be making two different cocktails. Uh, for demonstrating a shaking cocktail, we'll be making a daiquiri. This uh, is one of my favorite cocktails. It has a recipe from over a hundred years ago. And like most of my favorite classic cocktails, it just has three ingredients. So in this cocktail, it's just white rum, lime juice, and sugar. Simple, but incredibly delicious. Uh, the other cocktail that we have today, we'll be demonstrating the stirred method with is the Negroni, classic Negroni. This is also another recipe that's been on record from more than 100 years ago. Some people believe though it's even older than that. So this is another classic cocktail with just three ingredients. This cocktail is very popular. A lot of people like it for its bitterness, but it also has a little bit of sweetness and it's very spirit forward. So some people might say it's, it's a bit of an acquired taste though. All right, so to start off, let's talk about shaking. Shaking a cocktail is essentially just mixing, diluting, and chilling the drink. Um, now typically, the ingredients for this are going to give somewhat of a cloudy image for the cocktail. Um, usually we would be using citrus, juice, cream, or egg whites. So by shaking the drink with plenty of ice, it gives off a really nice texture, um, and it just helps to aerate and emulsify the cocktail. So that's the main main key of shaking a drink is we want to aerate it and we want to give it that that shake that brings out all of the, the texture to the cocktail. So um, let's go ahead and make the daiquiri. Here we have our Boston shakers. We have the small tin here and the larger tin or the Boston tin if you want to call it that. Um, for this cocktail we're going to be using a big jigger. This one is an ounce, um, sorry, ounce and a half and one ounce, or half ounce and a quarter ounce. So for this we need white rum. Today I'm going to be using Bacardi um, white rum and we would just need 1.5 ounces of this. So uh, here this is 45 so this is one, one and a half ounces already. So I'll go ahead and pour that in. All right, so one and a half ounces of white rum, and then we will be needing one ounce or 30 milliliters of lime juice. So when I cut my lime for my lime juice, what I want to do is I'll usually cut off the stem up at the top here, and then I'll put a little, a little slit right down the middle. So I usually cut a little hole here. Um, this just basically gets all the juice to go straight down out of the, the juice strainer. So it's really helpful. Okay, so we need one ounce, which is 30 milliliters of lime juice. So this side of the jigger is exactly that. And I'm guessing this is just gonna be one, one medium sized lime. Yeah, that's exactly one ounce there. Perfect, all right. <coughs> Throw that in there, and then we just need half ounce of simple syrup. So the simple syrup we are using is just a one-to-one -one simple syrup. So half ounce is 15 milliliters. All right, half ounce there, and then we'll take the big tin and we will fill it with ice here. So we'll fill this one all the way to the top with ice, and then we will pour the cocktail or the drink into the big tin here. We can even put a couple little ice cubes in the small one as well, which I usually do. All right, so we simply just pour this into here. We snap it shut, so you can just hit it really hard and it will it'll be able to stay there like that. You always want to shake this way, um, not this way, because this way is just a little aggressive and you might get something onto the guest, maybe a little bit of liquid comes out or something. So go ahead and shake it. So when you're shaking it, you want to hear this sound. 
that lets me know that the ice isn't in small little bits. It's not getting broken up. Um, it's, it's just a really smooth shake. Um, so, shake for about maybe 20 seconds, 25 seconds. You can shake rounding it out, or you can shake just straight back and forth. It's really, really up to you on how you want to shake it. There's a spot right here. This is usually the place you want to hit with the back of your hand. This releases the the smaller the smaller tin. So just hit it there, and this should just pop off. Great. All right. So now we have both of those guys. We want to grab our strainer. So we have our Hawthorne strainer here, and we have our fine strainer. So everything I have is chilled. That means we use a chilled glass so double strain into the glass here might be a little bit extra so normally when all the bits and pieces are coming out of this uh, into the fine strainer sometimes you need to knock it around a little bit uh, you'll see inside here that's all the pulp from the lime juice all of the little bits and pieces of ice that we don't want to get into the drink. And this one we garnish with a, we can do a wedge of lime, or I like to do a dehydrated slice of lime. So we just take a little dehydrated slice here and pop it on there. And there you have a classic decorating. So let's talk about stirring. Stirring is used to softly and, and delicately uh, mix the ingredients together uh, while uh, diluting the ice. So this is something that we would never really we would never really mix a cocktail uh, that has citrus or egg whites or anything like that, any cloudy ingredient. Um, the main purpose of mixing is to just give a perfect dilution. Um, to make a really smooth and a really silky finish for our cocktail. So most all mixed or stirred cocktails are uh, they're, they're spirit forward or they have mainly spirit ingredients. So for the stirred demonstration today, we are going to make um, the Negroni. So let's go ahead and do that. For this cocktail, it's, it's a really simple mix of just three ingredients. Um, this cocktail calls for Gin, um, usually a dry gin, dry London gin, uh, Campari, and sweet red vermouth. So this is equal parts, and equal parts means that each amount of each ingredient is the same. So for this one, we need one ounce of gin, one ounce of sweet red vermouth, and one ounce of Campari. So to, to do this one, we need our stirring glass. So I have my chilled stirring glass here. Um, we of course need our gin. Today I'm going to be using Bombay Sapphire Gin. Um, I'm going to be using the Martini Rosso Sweet Red Vermouth. And I'm going to be using Campari, of course, for our red apple. Um, so we need one ounce of each. 45 milliliters. So basically just go ahead and put 45 of gin right in there. And then we will do 45 of Martini Rosso. Or any red vermouth. And 45 of Campari. So it's really important to have a chilled mixing glass. Um, this just is to ensure the, the perfect temperature for your cocktail and the perfect dilution when you have the ice in there and you're stirring it. All right, so we want to fill this to basically to the very top with ice. So um, you can use bigger ice cubes, you can use smaller ice cubes. Um, I do prefer using medium, medium to bigger ice cubes. 
Uh, you don't want to have obviously crushed ice. You'll be diluting the drink way too much. So once you have all these in here, go ahead and get your your stirring spoon. And we're going to put the back here right against the glass and we're going to keep it against the glass. Uh, as you'll remember if you watch the uh, first video on how to make an old fashioned. So uh, we'll keep this against this and we will just use our two main fingers here which are going to be, the front one's going to be pulling and the other one's going to be pushing. So we're just going to go around the glass. You're not using your wrist a lot, you're not using your shoulder a lot, you're just using your fingers here. And you want to hear this. It's just a really soft, really soft sound. It's nothing too crazy. You're not busking the ice around. And I would say usually 15, 20 seconds. So to see where you're at, you can always put a little drop on the back of your hand. Okay, we just need a, another couple of seconds here. I would say that's probably about it. Yeah, that tastes great. So we're going to go ahead and get our chilled coupe glass. So for the daiquiri, you can use a shell glass, a coupe glass, or you could also even blend it and make a frozen daiquiri. For the Negroni, we typically use a coupe glass, which is this guy right here. Um, and if you don't really know the names of a lot of the glasses, uh, I will explain some of those in another episode later so you can understand the different terms and terminology for different glassware. So you want to take your Hawthorne strainer and when you have your Hawthorne strainer on here, just make sure you're pressing down pretty firm on there and grab your, your glass pretty tight here. Um, and then just go ahead and, and strain it in. This just needs a single strain here. And for this one, we are going to garnish with an orange peel or orange zest. For the orange zest, we're just going to peel straight down. You can peel over the drink to express the oils into the cocktail. Once we get a nice, nice piece, we're going to take our paring knife and going to just slice straight down. This basically just, you're cleaning up the sides there. And then you want to express the oils into the cocktail there. You can give a little rub on there. And then just go ahead and put it into the glass. And there you go, you have a classic Negroni. All right, so there you have shaken cocktails versus uh, stirred cocktails. If you have any questions or you have any requests for future episodes, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button for all future episodes. Thank you so much and we hope to see you again soon.